What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zach Zyler checking in for another video, another back day. Well, actually, this is a back night because this was a late night workout. Um, I don't remember exactly what time it was, but you can probably tell the gym is empty. Um, just a handful of people in there. And starting off with some good old fashioned deadlifts. Um, I basically start my workouts with deadlifts all my back days for the most part. And I deadlift twice a week, which is pretty insane for most people, and I do not suggest or condone deadlifting two times a week. However, for my programming and the strength building that I'm, I'm kind of focusing on in terms of deadlifting, it is efficient for me, and I have built up to where I am. The deadlift has really become one of my favorite exercises, and a lot of people are really against it. They don't see it as a bodybuilding type exercise, but for me, the deadlift has brought up my upper back and added a lot of thickness to my back in general. As most of you may have noticed, I, for the most part, follow a traditional deadlift, and I've tried to do sumo in the past, but I really have an awkward built um, frame, if you ask me honestly. And when I do sumo, I think my legs are just too freaking long, and it's just so awkward. It has never felt good to me. Um, my range of motion in the sumo is so, so like, I don't even know if it's too big or too small, but it just feels awkward to me. Um, when I do this traditional deadlift, my range of motion is much higher than that of a person doing sumo. And, you know, I'm a tall person, I guess, somewhat. I'm six feet tall. Um, but this just feels amazing for targeting my back. If I really focus in and try to hit my, you know, make my back take most of the workload, of course my legs are going to take over as well, some somewhat, but it's just a great all-around exercise for me personally. The deadlift has become so, so precious to me. And I was completely against deadlifting in the past as well, but I finally decided to try them out. I started off with working sets of like 135 pounds, which of course led to 185, which led to 225, 315, 405, and I have now surpassed one of my older goals of hitting five plates. So, you know, I'm always hungry because now my next goal, of course, is to hit six plates, which is going to take a long time to do. However, I know that I can do it and I will do it with the proper programming and the proper, you know, mindset and approach towards that. So that's what I started off with. Um, I hate working out this late, <laughs> to be honest. I used to love it. But for whatever reason, it feels like I'm just weaker, I can't concentrate as hard, and my workouts suck compared to going early in the morning, going in, you know, the early evening or afternoon. Just late at night sucks for me, especially those deadlifts. Um, it, it felt terrible, and I just find myself lacking the energy. And not only that, but taking my pre-workout late at night, and then going and getting my workout complete going home and struggling to fall asleep because of that caffeine that's in my system. That's another thing I kind of dislike about it, but, you know, I'm getting over it. But I have gotten over it, so. After those deadlifts, I did a few sets of pull-ups, which were followed by doing some sets of muscle-ups. And for those of you who can't do those, um, I think that they're a pretty good back exercise, actually. Um, I go straight from the muscle-ups into some pull-ups, and oh my gosh, my lats feel very activated af after doing that. So from there, we moved on to this hammer strength machine, and we did three sets of 12 reps on this hammer strength. And somebody noticed that, or somebody commented on one of my videos, they said, um, Hey Zach, why do you bump up the weight every single set? Um, and that's not something I do every single workout. That's just something they noticed in the particular workout that they were watching. But I think I was doing that with this one, too, that I, I literally bump up the weight every single set. Um, I don't stick with the same weight throughout every single set. But there are times that I do that. So it's just a matter of me, depending on how I switch things up. Um, I, I call it, like, pyramiding when I do that. I don't know if that's, like, the right terminology to be calling it that. But it's mostly because the, the beginning sets are easier because I'm saving myself somewhat for the last set and I don't do this like I said all the time um, 
there's a lot of time where I'll just go heavy every single set, put everything I can into it, and my approach towards failure is different every workout. And I should make a video about that, I probably will, you know, my opinion on going to failure, because there are workouts where I get very near failure, there are workouts where I feel I've completely hit failure even though it's impossible to do, and there's workouts where I try to stay far away from failure while working with heavy weight, which may not make sense, but I'll probably make a video with an explanation to that pretty soon, so um, just focusing on the lats in general right here because my lats um, are something that I've always been trying to bring up. And to be more specific, my lat width from the front. That is something I've struggled to do for the past four and a half years, however long it's been. That is the major, major thing that I've struggled to do is bring up my lats from the front. Um, from the back, in my opinion, personally, you guys may disagree, my lats can look so wide. I can get them to look extremely wide, especially when they get pumped. Um, my back looks amazing from, from behind in terms of width. From the front, however, it's another story. And I'm not really sure what I should owe that to. I kind of have the feeling that I have really high lats um, attachments. And that may be con contributing to it in a sense. But I also think I have a thick serratus. Serratus, however you say it. Um, I also think that that may be contributing to it somewhat. Because if you have a thick-ass serratus, of course your lats are going to be somewhat dwindled. And like thrown away completely. But you guys will see maybe if I do some back poses at the end of this video. I'm not even sure if I threw any in here. But, anywho, we went into some rows after doing all of that lat pulling. Um, this T-bar row machine is something that I use on and off in the gym um, just to mix things up. I have not did a traditional T-bar row with just the free weights, you know, not connected to a machine. I have not did that in such a long time, and that used to be one of my favorite exercises. And, you know, just talking about it right now, it makes me want to do it again just to get the feel of it, you know, because it is something I used to do at my older gym all the time, and I haven't did it, you know, in this gym in forever. So that might be something you guys see in the near future, the near future back workouts, so... From there we went into a one-arm dumbbell row, very lightweight compared to what I'm used to using, um, trying to focus in on using my back and not just pulling with my arms or anything like that. Of course I have a little bit of momentum um, with my form, you can tell, but it wasn't anything too extreme. So again, I usually like use the max <laughs> size dumbbells that we have, the 125 pound dumbbells when I do these type of rows but right here I think I'm only using the this is probably 85 or something which is very light for me um, I'm a very strong rower and puller I always have been and I can use some pretty heavy ass weights but you guys understand that I I don't give a shit about how strong I am I don't care about my numbers I'm never gonna be built to be a power lifter I am physically not built to lift heavy ass weights but, um, like I said earlier with my deadlift, you know, I, I said it would be cool to be able to deadlift six plates. By getting that strength, not only is my one rep max going to increase, but also my other lifts, you know, for hypertrophy type rep ranges, those are going to increase as well as a result. So, so that is why, you know, implementing lower rep ranges, strength building type rep ranges is vital for bodybuilding. It really is. And that, that pretty much it, is it for this workout. I mean, this is the final exercise, this low row. And I've really, really been able to target my upper back as a result of this um, particular exercise. So you'll see me doing this all the time. And again, this whole workout was centered around 10 to 14 reps. But you'll see that I put four plates on this machine just because I really, really wanted to um, thrash my back as you know it, it being the last set and kind of to just test and see how it felt because I I just recently started doing four plates on this machine and you know it's pretty cool and it feels amazing obviously I'm not there to impress anyone I'm like the only one in the gym at this time so if I was trying to impress somebody you know with four plates in the gym 
I think I'm doing a pretty shitty job of it. So that's pretty much it for the workout, you guys. Um, here you can see my small baby lats. Um, while I flex and stuff like that. But no, you guys. Um, we all have weak points. We all all have areas that we need to bring up. And if we did not, if we were all perfect, then why the hell would I even be posting this video? Why would I even be in the gym this particular night? You know. Um, we all have places that we need to be and we have places we where we want to be so that's what I'm striving for obviously you guys are gonna share in on my um, journey and everything like that and yeah that's pretty much it you guys until next time um thank you very much for clicking on this video give it a like a subscribe and a share until next time I love you guys so much peace out of Zach Zyler goodbye